Hey guys, welcome to CodeBoard. In this video, we are going to see how to find out the minimum element from the various elements in the array. Same logic you can use to find out the maximum element, but in this video, we are going to see how to find the minimum from the elements of the array. So let's quickly take one input array. We'll say new int and we are going to define the array over here itself. You can also take this as user input. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to define the elements here. So let's randomly put some elements in the array. Let's say 5, 4, 8, 9 and 1. So in this array, we have 5 elements. Okay, I forgot to mention the brackets over here. So in this array, we have 5 elements. And out of these 5 elements, we have to find out the minimum element. So as you can see, our output here should be 1 which is going to be the minimum of all elements in this array. So first we need a variable. Let's call it mean element in which we are going to store our minimum element. Now what value should we assign to this min element? Of course it is going to be the first value of the array. Why? Because with this first element we are going to compare every other element in the array and if any other element is less than the first element will replace mean element with that particular element. So let's see how. So this is going to be the first element in the array. So we are going to give it value of input array 0. Now since we have 5 in the mean element, we are going to compare 5 with every element. And if the element is less than 5, then mean element is going to be that particular element. And so with mean element, we'll go on comparing every other element to find out our final mean element. I know this could be a little confusing. So let's implement it and check how to do it. So we're going to take a loop. Now, since we already have five element here and we want to compare the rest of the array with that particular element, we're going to start the array index with one. We don't need to start with 0 because 5 is something we are going to compare with the other elements. And we'll go up to the size of the array. Dot length and i++. plus plus. So here we are. So we have basically 5 and to compare, we are going to compare it with the rest of the elements. So now if, so our i is at 4, right? i is over here. So if 4 is less than 5, we are going to replace the mean element with 4 because the 4 is less than 5. Then next elements will compare with 4. If they are less than 4, again we will replace the mean element with the lesser element. So we are going to say input array of i. If it's less than min element, then we are going to change the value of mean element with that particular input array element. Right? So in the first loop, 4 will be compared to 5. And since 4 is less than 5, mean element value is going to be 4. Now again, in the next loop, when the index will shift to 8, in that case, 8 is going to be compared with the mean element. Now remember, our new mean element was 4. So we'll compare 8 and 4. And if 8 is less than 4, then again our new mean element will be this. So basically in this way, every element is going to be compared with the mean element. So 8 is not less than 4, so mean element is going to be 4. Then it will compare 9 with the mean element, which is again not less than 4. So our mean element is going to remain 4. After that, 1 will be compared to 4, that is mean element. And since 1 is less than 4, our final mean element value is going to be assigned as 1. So after this, finally, we are going to print the minimum element. So let's say the minimum element of the array is and that is going to be our mean element. So I hope you understood the concept, right? So as you can see, the minimum element of the array is 1. So we have our final input. If we change the value and try it for various values, we're going to get the correct output. So this is the simple logic to, to find out the mean element from the array. 
for those who want to understand more we'll also debug this and check how it works so i'm going to place the debug pointer here and let's debug this so we are going to debug this as java application so we have a debug pointer here right we'll just step over and here our minimum element is now five that is the first element right now i is going to be one and input array of i if we see that is going to be four right and mean element is five now since four is less than five mean element is going to be replaced with four so our mean element right now is four in the next loop mean element is four so input array of i is going to be basically eight and mean element is four so it is not less than four so it will come out of the loop Similarly, 9 is not less than 4 because our i index is 3 and input array of i is 9, which is not less than 4. So it will again come out of the loop. The next element that is input element of i, input array i is 1, which is less than 4. So it will go inside the loop and mean element now is going to be 1. So if you see now, mean element is 1. Now since the loop ends here, it will come out of the loop and it is going to print the value of mean element. So it has printed the mean element of the array is 1. So in this way you can find the minimum element of the array. Of course if you want to find out the maximum element then this condition is just going to change. So if array of element i is greater than we will take the max element here and then in this way you can find the max element so do try for the max element and if you have any doubts in that please mention them in the comment section below we'll soon come up with more programming examples for you until then subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video thank you